ハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤーイエーイハッピーニューイヤー Google Play and the Amazon App Store. Due to the COVID 19 situation,、uh, we are not shooting this video from studio.、Uh, we are recording this video remotely. That's right, and in this video, we're going to be talking about some of the all new units being released and a few other things. So we hope you will all enjoy. All right, so Hiroki, what is our first topic for today? Check out this video. Yay! 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 <laughs> the Final Fantasy IV collaboration reissue begins on January 19th! Yay! For the event,、uh, we are unlocking EX jobs for s e s u Kane, and Rosa to make them even more powerful. And g o l b e t will appear as a brand new unit. That's right, it's a fantastic chance for new War Divisions players to pick up Final Fantasy IV collaboration units. First, let's talk about the Final Fantasy IV. The story follows Cecil, a Dark Knight, and Captain of the Red Wings, who decides to fight against the tyrannical Kingdom of Baron with his trusted friend and his paramour at his side, and later joins forces with Cain the Dragoon, Rosa the White Mage, Rydia the Summoner, and many more skilled allies. Final Fantasy IV set the standard for role playing games with its diverse cast of characters, deep plot, and real time active time battle system, where time moves even during battle, giving the players an exciting sense of urgency. Final Fantasy IV has been remastered in 2D, and you can get it on Steam, the App Store, Google Play, and Amazon App Store. It's available in 12 languages worldwide. And you can play it right now. Now, let's introduce the Final Fantasy IV Corporation event. Let's start by taking a look at the new unit, Golbez. Golbez is a dark type UR unit with a cost of 90. His main job is Dark Mage, and his sub jobs are Green Mage and Scholar. Dark Mage is an original job for Golbez, and it is a rearguard spellcaster class. Dark Mage can lower the spirit of targets, hit them with powerful magic attacks, and also recover AP with its reaction ability. Plus, it allows Golbez to cast barriers to block both physical and magic attacks, making him a strong all rounder on the attack and in defense. Golbez's Void Meteor Limit Burst raises his own magic attack for three turns, then deals a large amount of damage to targets within range based on the caster's magic stat, and raises his own defense and dark resistance for three turns. So, not only does his limit burst inflict heavy damage on enemies within range, it boosts Golbez's defense and dark resistance. This makes it extra powerful as it helps protect him from dark units and units with high physical attack. His Black Fang ability lowers a target's spirit for three turns, then deals small damage based on the caster's magic stat. Debuffing a target's spirit before the main attack helps ensure that his attacks still inflict damage even on high spirit foes. The ability Abyssal Quasar deals large damage to targets within range based on the caster's magic stat, and deals extra damage to targets affected by Spirit Down, Poison, Silence, Immobilize, and has a chance of inflicting Silence for three turns. Abyssal Quasar is a pretty unique ability as it deals extra damage to targets that are already suffering from one of the many status ailments. The fact that it has a chance of inflicting Silence also makes it a good ability to use on magic users. Hell enough! Black Love the Witch has the ability to lower spirit. 
So she and Gorbat will be a powerful combo. The Dark Barrier ability bestows a barrier on Golbez that reduces damage for 3 turns and also enables him to absorb a portion of HP damage he inflicts. This barrier also reduces both physical and magic damage, and with the HP damage absorption it grants to his attacks, this ability really boosts your staying power on the battlefield. Golbez's Helm, which you require as a Trustmaster reward, makes it possible to use the Dark Incantation ability. This significantly reduces the user's attack ability activation time for 3 turns. It's a powerful piece of equipment that enhances Golbez's capabilities, so make sure to put it to good use. Golbez can dish out a lot of damage while inflicting debuffs such as Spirit Reduction and Silence. He also has good resistance stats, making him a powerful ally in nearly any battle. Yes, uh, I would recommend using him in a dark unit party with, for example, Helena, Black Rose Witch, and Dwayne. That's right. Dwayne can be both be an attacker and a tank. Helena, Black Robed Witch, is a magic attacker and a healer. And Golbez is a magic attacker with buffs and debuffs. That's a really scary party without many weaknesses. So don't miss this opportunity to get Golbez. So, what's the next unit, Justin? Next up, we have Cecil. Cecil is a UR unit with a cost of 80. He is a powerful light type support unit. When his EX job is unlocked, Blood of the Lunarians and Devoted Defense are enhanced and he gets a new ability, Reckoning of Light. Blood of the Lunarians is a support ability that boosts max HP and defense. When enhanced, it becomes Savior of the Blue Planet, which improves the buff degree of the existing defense increase. Devoted Defense allows him to sacrifice his own HP to bestow a barrier on allies within range that reduces physical damage. The enhanced version, Devoted Bastion, lowers the HP consumption and adds one additional ability use. The new Reckoning of Light ability raises Cecil's own defense piercing rate for 3 turns, then deals 2 hits of large damage to the target, and increases damage according to the amount of HP Cecil has lost. Cecil consumes his own HP to raise barriers for his allies, but this means that when he uses Reckoning of Light, he can inflict more damage on foes the lower his own HP becomes. With both support abilities for helping allies, and a powerful ability to deal damage to the enemy, Cecil's EX job enhancement is sure to spice things up. Next up, we have Kane. Kane is a UR unit with a cost of 80. He is a powerful dark type attacker, and the unlocked EX job enhances his Pride of the Dragoons and Dragon Raid abilities, and it also gives him the new ability Sealing Spearfall. Pride of the Dragoons is a support ability that significantly raises attack and lowers defense. The enhanced version is named Atoning Dragoon. It grants additional effects that boost defense piercing rate and acquired AP. Dragon Raid deals large damage to a target after a jump delay and lowers the target's healing power for 3 turns. The enhanced ability Dragon Raid Plus lowers AP consumption and removes courage from the target after a jump delay, in addition to its base effects. Sealing Spearfall significantly lowers the reaction ability activation rate of targets within range for 3 turns after a jump delay, then deals a medium amount of damage which is increased for targets affected by AP Auto Restore, Healing Power Down, Slow, or Confusion. So the ability makes it harder for enemies to use Reflex and other powerful reaction abilities. Also, because it inflicts extra damage to targets affected by AP Auto Restore, Healing Power Down, Slow, or Confusion, it is extra effective when used in combination with other abilities. King already bursted high attack power, but now, uh, he hit even harder and can boost his acquired AP and also use one of his most powerful ability with lower AP consumption. We hope to see you put him to good use. Finally, let's take a look at Rosa. Rosa is a UR unit with a cost of 80. She is a powerful ice type healer unit. With her unlocked EX job, Pure Prayer and Prey abilities are enhanced plus she gets a new ability, Full Life. Her Pure Prayer ability nullifies Poison, Frostbite, Blind, Silence, Paralysis, Confusion, and Stop for allies within an area around herself for 3 turns. The enhanced version, Righteous Prayer, raises the healing power and spirit of allies within the area around herself, 
grants one additional ability use, and adds stun and disable to the list of nullified ailments. Pray becomes Divine Prayer, and in addition to recovering a medium amount of a target's HP, the ability gains range plus one and no longer has casting time. Additionally, it will also bestow Shell on the target for three turns. Her new ability, Full Life, has a chance of recovering the target from KO status and fully recovering its HP. With enhanced range to one of her main abilities, Rosa can now provide support from further in the rear. And the Full Life ability means she can provide even more support for your party. Along with the introduction of Golbez, there will be a series of collaborative event quests. There are going to be collaborative event quests and high difficulty EX quests. You will want to play for these rewards. Holy Knight's Shoulder Plate and Shadow Dragon Staff crafting recipes. Holy Knight's Shoulder Plate is armor that increases missile attack resistance when enhanced to plus one or higher. Cecil is well protected against slash attacks, but vulnerable to missile attacks so the Holy Knight's Shoulder Plate can help cover that weak point. The Shadow Dragon Staff boosts Light Eater and Magic Attacks. It is especially effective against Light-type foes, but it is powerful enough to be equipped to any staff-wielding unit, not just Golbez. In other news, the Trials of Reckoning 2 will begin on January 26th. In the Trials, you can get recipes for a new weapon, the Myth Graven Blade. The Myth Graven Blade is a powerful weapon that boosts slash attack and reduces AP cost rate when at plus one or greater. Its high attack strength alone is great, and the AP cost rate reduction means wielders can get the most out of their abilities. Get the sword, and try keeping it to the cooperative unit, Cecil. Now, for a small update. To coincide with the start of the Final Fantasy IV collaboration on January 19th, we will be unlocking the double speed option for all players and the triple speed option for players at Royal Rank 8 and above. So a uh, lot of people in the community have been asking for this option. So we really wanted to roll it out quickly. Please give it a try. Okay, on to the next section, the Q&A Corner, yay! In this segment, we will answer questions from you, the viewers, that were left in the comment section of our show. Let's get to it, here is the first question. One of my favorite things about Final Fantasy Brave Exvius was when you would update the icons in the home screen to celebrate holidays like Halloween. Could we see something like that in the future for holiday events in War of the Visions? Mm, first off, Thank you very much for playing Final Fantasy Brave Exodus as well. So we are planning to implement this soon. So please wait just a little. Thank you very much for the question. So please go ahead and add your questions to the comments section with the hashtag WOTVQA. We will pass your questions on to our staff and answer them right here on the show. In the last show, updates number 15, we had some feedback about sharing illustrations. We found some posts on Reddit with nice fan art by some of our players that we wanted everyone else to see. This is from Skardas EX. Wow, this, that is a fantastic work. Yeah, Skardas EX, thank you very much. So fan art like this really inspire us to do our best on the produ uh, production side. All right, next up, this is from Zealous Ideal, add 6322. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. There are side, there are side deal, add 6322. Thank you very much. So this, it is very heartwarming art. Thank you very much, everyone. So we could only show a few examples this time but there's been a lot of great artwork posted. Uh, so we hope to show more on the future video. So please keep posting your art on social media and Reddit. So time is almost up, but do you have anything that you would like to leave the players with before we finish, Hiroki? Yeah, I'm glad you asked. As is custom, 
we are giving everyone special item to celebrate the release of this video. The detail will be shown on your screen. Awesome, thank you very, very much as always. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe to our channel, leave a comment or share on social media. And thank you everybody for watching this episode. Uh, we will see you in the next one. And without further ado, Bye-bye. Bye-bye.